Well, I am just leaving the Quarterway Inn. Had a wonderful time here. Hung out under the sycamore. That tree is huge. And really just a beautiful stay here. Two beautiful stays here because the first time I uh, was here Wednesday night and on Thursday, Tina drove me into Marion so I could get a car to run home and uh, visit for the weekend. And then she picked me up yesterday afternoon when I got back and uh, brought me back and had a nice evening and a wonderful gourmet breakfast. If you stay here, you definitely need to sign up for her breakfast. They are amazing. Today she did uh, breakfast tacos and cornbread and some strawberry banana bread. It was awesome. So definitely don't miss that. And so here I am ready to hit the AT going north. My first uh, leg it looks like is uh, through a pasture and it's gray this morning and there's only a 50% chance of rain but the sky has been kind of just misting on me. <laughs> my glasses are a little fogged up and uh, it's kind of damp but I went ahead and put my rain cover on my pack but I am not wearing my rain gear and uh, hopefully I won't need it but um, if you're wondering about missing days on my trek, I was gone off the trail for five days. Uh, two of those were for driving to and from home, and then I had three full days at home, which was a nice break. Uh, spent a lot of time with family and uh, really didn't video, but had some nice family celebrations and just together time. And then also worked on some gear and left a few things at home. Uh, the big conundrum was my mug. Uh, I have that GSI mug that's insulated with a lid, and I really like it. It's about three ounces, but... Um, trying to shave as much weight out of my pack as I can. So I left it home and I thought, yeah, if I can't get by without it, I can have my husband send it to me. So uh, I left that. I left um, my little mini deck of cards, just things that weigh a few grams, but they all add up. So I left those. I left um, the rain screen that I made for um, uh, for the end of my tent. I've only used it a couple times and I've been in some pretty heavy thunderstorms and it didn't seem to be necessary. So. I left that and uh, there were a couple other things so if I remember them later I'll kind of run down the list with you but um, when I weighed my pack this morning if the scale was right I was at 27 pounds with food and water which is really good and uh, so I'm pretty happy it feels good I, my heel does hurt a little bit already this morning but I've got a funky sock contraption to sleep in with that hopefully if I do that for several nights we'll start alleviating some of that pain but um, time will tell so for now it's off to hiking. Well, so far this morning, the trek is making me laugh a little bit. Uh, the quarter way in is down that road, down that way. And I've been kind of paralleling the road. You can see where the trail comes right through here. And there's actually a switchback here in the field. And I'm going to be heading up that way. So I don't know how many switchbacks it's going to take before I end up in the woods. But uh, kind of funny. And I, I was actually thinking as I was coming from there, paralleling the road, that... Uh, you know, of course the ATC doesn't want you to have to do too much road walking, so uh, they put you in a field. And apparently they zigzag through the field just to give you a little bit more of a outdoor experience. I don't know. I was also thinking it's kind of an odd thing to go from being in a big city and driving on the interstate, you know, with lots of traffic and congestion and things like that, uh, to being out here in the middle of a pasture on a gray, misty morning. <laughs> So it's beautiful, but it's a little bit jarring to the uh, psyche to make those transitions so quickly. <laughs> so I felt when I was at home a little overwhelmed. Um, the town that I live in has a lot of construction going on. So we've got uh, new neighborhoods going all up all over the place, roads that are under construction. Some are closed for improvement. So there was a lot of traffic, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of uh, very blatant consumerism and uh, brand consciousness and things like that and out here life is just so simple uh, you know certainly people are brand conscious in terms of their gear but for the most part it's like you just need a good sleep system good shelter plenty of healthy food and you're good to go so I love the simplicity of life on the trail even though sometimes I have to chuckle at the way the trails are laid out but uh, that's just me so, I was almost to the woods here when I came upon a cow. Hello, cow. Not too concerned about my presence. Cow, hey, you, cow. Yep, not interested. Well, I've come through the woods over a river 
and into another pasture. And now I have three cattle showing me down. This one over here was uh, laying down until he saw me coming and they're all just kind of standing here looking at me and that one's right in the trail. So I hope he'll move. There he goes. She, I guess. <laughs> anyway, they don't say much, but I'm sure they're used to having company wander through. Having a pretty good hike today. I uh, have a few obstacles to get over. It's been a bit of an obstacle course with a lot of trees down that have required some scrambling to get over, like this one. But overall, the trail has been pretty good. I am personally moving very slow, um, partly just due to aches and pains. I think they're um, aggravated because I've been off the trail for a few days, but uh, I am making good progress I'm about halfway through and uh, hope to reach my goal by about 5, 5.30 this evening. Go on. You want me to back up? I can back up. Will you be happier if I back up? All right, go on your way. Go on your way. It's okay, Mama. Go on. Go, Bear. Go, Bear. Go, go. Go home. Go on. It's okay. It's okay. You can go on. I know I scared you. After my encounter with the mama and the two babies, the trail took me up and around where they were and I think they went one way, but I got a little further and I saw another bear with a cub. After that, I uh, kept on hiking and just calling out and letting them know I was coming because apparently the music I was playing didn't make a difference. Uh, and then I got to this kind of grassy road and I've been coming up it for about 0.3 miles. And actually, it was just right before I saw the bears, I was just about to uh, stop and talk about the water because the water sources were all dry. But right down here, there's a pond. There's a sign for water, and I understand there's a spring just beyond the pond, so that'll be nice to get some fresh spring water. So here is the spring I've been waiting for, and I'm thankful to see water, but boy, is it a tiny, tiny little trickle. So uh, there's no water at the shelter, I understand, or it's, it's suspect water, so I'm going to get what I can here. Hopefully I can get a couple liters and take it with me. I've only got two more miles to hike. My uh, destination tonight is the Chestnut Knob Shelter, which is a old fire warden's cabin, stone with a door, and uh, supposed to have a great view. And I kind of wonder, I've been on this little old grassy road for a while, and I thought, is this going to go the whole way? <laughs> and I'm guessing it just might, because from the looks of it, there's a lot of field and white blazes ahead. Isn't that a cool view? It's different because there's just a long, long ridge of mountains. You know, and in the past, coming through Georgia and North Carolina and Tennessee, the views were rows upon rows upon rows of mountains. And I was just reading in a gut hook, when I was reading about the shelter, it said it's at the very beginning of a ridge that we'll hike on for eight miles. So I'm curious if part of that is the ridge that I will be hiking on. I am heading off into a very foggy morning. I uh, got to Old Orchard Shelter last night at about six and made my dinner and got my tent set up and that sort of thing. And I had a bit of a view of the valley below, which is beautiful, but it wasn't the best. So I thought, oh, I'll just wait till morning. <laughs> Not thinking about the possibility of fog rolling in, which it did, really heavy fog. And it didn't rain, but with the moisture from the fog, everything got wet. And this morning, very socked in. I can see a little bit better here in the woods, but over there um, behind me in the clearing where the shelter is, you can't see maybe more than 50 feet ahead. It's, it's really, really foggy. So um, beautiful morning. I missed the beautiful view. I feel bad I couldn't share it with you, but uh, I'm going off into the woods and uh, on a, apparently a long ridge walk. I think it's about eight miles or so. Um, and my total hike for the day is going to be about 15. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to, to that. Um, a little anxious about seeing more bears. Five yesterday in one day. It was a lot. <laughs> but uh, it was cool. I was just telling uh, Tina from the uh, quarter way in when she picked me up in Marion that I hadn't seen a bear yet. And uh, I knew there were lots of bears in this area, so I'd probably be seeing one soon. And I was right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, everything is good. I'm feeling good this morning and uh, looking forward to the hike. So. I'm not sure what's going on with me today. I'm having a really tough time hiking. And uh, I mentioned it was real foggy last night. It was also super windy and my tent kept flapping around and occasionally my tent stakes would um, twist up and the tent would come undone, like mainly the rain fly, and I'd have to get out and fix it. So I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night and I'm just really dragging. And I don't know if it's just a combination of not having the sleep I needed and having been off the trail for five days and come back and doing 14 yesterday, I'm just not sure, but I'm having to keep stopping every, I don't know, feels like it every mile or so and uh, and take a break. I've been trying to drink as much as I can and um, taking some snacks and that sort of thing, but I'm just really hurting and I'm about, uh, I think a half a mile from Virginia 623 road crossing. My plan is to stop there and have lunch and I'm kind of reassessing. I think I might end up just doing 10 today and trying to catch up on some of that rest because I know I want to make up the miles, but it doesn't make sense to keep pushing myself too much if I'm really, really having a tough time. And that's kind of how, unfortunately, how today is shaping up. So I'm going to rest here for a minute and uh, then get on the road, road, can't talk, get on the road crossing and then, uh, and then decide what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. Well, I just had a nice little lunch break here at uh, Virginia 623. There's a, a good campsite there just off the road. And then it's always nice when there are rocks that you can sit on right at the roadside. So it's very quiet here. Two motorcycles pass by. That's the only traffic I've seen. And then I also met a couple of hikers um, going southbound, finishing up from last year. They were Lady and the Tramp. It seems like I've heard their names before. So anyway, it was good to see them. They had a couple of pups with them. And then uh, a couple other hikers who seem like they're also having rough days. I don't know what it is about today, but I went ahead and uh, ate my lunch, drank some water, and made the decision that I'm just going to cut my 15-mile plan short and do, uh, I think, a total of 10 miles to the next shelter rather than going on to the campsite. But I think, given the way that I'm feeling, that's the smartest thing to do. And uh, so I'm not going to push it too hard. I'm just going to try to listen to my body and uh, take care of it. Earlier today I was hiking along the ridge that forms the edge of what's called God's Thumbprint. It's a giant crater formed by a sinkhole. And I believe I've crossed over to the other side now because these giant rock groupings look like they are the upper walls of that, um, of that sinkhole. So kind of interesting from a geological standpoint to see that. And then uh, going forward I think I'm going to get lower into the crater and uh, find the trail a little bit easier. How's that for a few rocks? It's a huge pile of boulders. And it looks like the AT's just been rerouted from a little higher up on that pile down this way. So I'm heading over step by step.